charcoal versus carbon, what's the difference? Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Beaver and today we are discussing the difference between filtering your spirits with charcoal and with activated carbon or activated charcoal. Now there is subtle differences between the two that we will, that we will discuss in the video. So yeah, let's quickly get into the parameters of the testing we will be doing. Now in front of me here we have the three jars of exactly the same spirit it came out of the same bottle this is the heavily peated single malt whiskey that we made for the one year anniversary on the channel i'll link a video up here now this has been aging for a while i took it off the wood it has a nice and delicate flavor with a very powerful peat smoke flavor so we're going to run all three of these or actually just two of them through a filter now the first filter will be through standard charcoal and the second one will be through a activated carbon filter let's quickly have a closer look at charcoal and discuss what we did with the charcoal to prepare it for filtering your spirits now if you look at charcoal as a medium you will see there's a picture on the screen right now that is a nice close-up view of the actual charcoal now in the charcoal you have all of these fine cracks and hairline cracks and little pores from where the wood was uh, previously wood and uh, yeah all of those little pores and crevices form a filter now that filter will allow your spirit to pass through and then it will capture all the larger particles that can't pass through that filter medium now i get this question a lot can you use standard lump charcoal that you buy at the store that is meant for brying or for barbecuing the answer is yes as long as it's made out of hardwood and there's a couple of steps that you need to take to prepare that charcoal so it's actually suitable for filtering your spirits if you want me to do a video on preparing charcoal to use during the filtration process please put a comment down in the comment section so I can do a video on how I prepare my charcoal when I filter my spirits. Now let's quickly have a look at activated carbon and discuss what's the differences between those two. Now over here what we have is a activated stone carbon filter meant for filtering water. This uh, I bought out of a five stage water filtration system and yeah it's just a tube filled with activated carbon and a membrane at the top and a membrane at the bottom to not have the activated carbon come out now what's the difference between charcoal and activated carbon now this is not going to be in depth this is just a quick overview and a glance at it now to turn charcoal into activated carbon what they do is they heat it to a high temperature in an oxygen deprived environment thus allowing the charcoal to make sure that all the other impurities that's in there has been burned off what they do then is they take hot steam and they inject it into that super hot charcoal thus activating the charcoal the steam passes through the charcoal and it makes little microscopic little dents and cracks and just increases the surface area of that filtering medium that we have in our standard charcoal in that process as well when they are super heating it they create a polarity to the actual activated carbon so it's not just a mesh filter it is actually a negatively or a positively charged filter where it will attract other material out of the liquid that you are filtering through let's quickly do a small little experiment to show the difference in a visual representation of filtering through charcoal and filtering through activated carbon now imagine this sieve is the surface of the charcoal you have these little pores that form a mesh screen that will now be filtering out impurities now the impurities is represented by this mucky liquid water that i have here that i'll pass through that filter so let's see how well this filters your spirit 
Now, as you saw there, the filter did catch some of the particulate, but not all of it. The larger particles were easily captured by the filter, but the smaller particles passed through. Yes, some of the smaller particles were captured by the filter as they were clumping together, but it did not effectively filter the liquid. Now, let's activate this charcoal and uh, filter it again. Now, like I said, during the activation process, your charcoal, uh, your charcoal pores actually get cracked into smaller little pores thus it's like adding another layer of filtration to our filter as well as that additional layer of filtration that you have you now polarize your carbon thus it will attract other material out of the liquid so let's filter through activated carbon now as you saw it's not a very effective filter as it is but if you look inside the sieve you will see we have now caught a lot more of the particulate some of it still went through that were was that was able to pass through our second layer of filtration but we caught a lot more and we have a slightly cleaner liquid so yeah let's do this for real with some spirits now it's time to filter through the activated carbon filter so what we're going to do is this is going to take a little bit of time so i'm going to pour it through and then move it off to the side and allow it to filter through nice and slowly and then we'll do the testing later now it's time to run it through the charcoal now, uh, this charcoal has been rinsed and prepared for filtration. So yeah, let's just get it in there and run the charcoal through. Now that we have run it through the filters, remember this is the unfiltered version. This is the charcoal version. Now there's a slight color difference, but not a lot. And then there is the carbon filtered. Now you will see a immediate change in color. So uh, yes, there is still some color left over within the spirit, but the carbon filtration took out a lot of the color. Now let's quickly see what kind of impact it had on the smell and the taste. My prediction is that the charcoal one will have mellower flavors than the unfiltered version. Um, and then the carbon one, most of the flavors will be stripped away. Keeping in mind that the product that we are testing with has very robust flavors. So that peat smoke is very prominent. So the grain flavors are um, very subtle within that peat smoke. So let's see if we can tamp down on that peat smoke and just see if we can lift up the grain flavors with filtration. So yeah, let's quickly get into the tasting. Okay, so first up the unfiltered version. So like I said, very peat smoke heavy has a slight malt character to it nice deep rich peat slight hint of that malty character but yeah very good whiskey now for the charcoal version now like i said i imagine that the flavors of this will be completely mellowed out um, but not stripped away so on the nose already it has lost a lot of the character. The smells and the flavors are still there, but very muted. It actually has a very sweet smell now. What I expected it to do was pull away some of that peat smoke. Now we have pushed the peat smoke slightly into the background, but not all the way. It is a lot subtler. Um, unfortunately during that process we also lost a lot of that grain flavor so yeah the peat smoke is now almost overpowering because we filtered out so much of that nice deep rich grain flavor now on the carbon now my prediction for the carbon is that yeah there's going to be almost no flavor left over in uh, this but yeah let's see yeah so on the nose there's almost no peat smoke it has a slight woody smell to it but yeah um, almost nothing let's give it a taste now this actually tastes like a very very watered down version of the charcoal version so there's almost no peat only on when you exhale through your nose you can get a little bit of that peat smoke almost like a smoked meat kind of smell we are almost nothing in conclusion we all know a very well-known brand that does charcoal filtration or they call it charcoal mellowing 
and that is Jack Daniels, the Tennessee whiskey. Now, they do not use activated carbon for their filtration. They actually take charcoal or um, maple wood. Uh, they burn it, douse it, clean it, and then they filter their spirits through that uh, bed of charcoal. Now, that will do what the charcoal did here, and that, that is mellow it down and just strip away some of that harsh spiky flavors just giving you a smoother whiskey what's my opinion on filtering well it depends on what kind of product you want to create if you are running a whiskey or a gin or a, a brandy or a rum you want those big bold flavors that you work so hard to get into the spirit if you accidentally overshoot those flavors yes you can use some carbon filtration or charcoal filtration to see if you can pull back some of those flavors but if you have subtle nuanced flavors within your product the filtration will actually strip away most of those flavors so yeah will i filter my spirits in the future it depends um i'm seriously thinking of running half of this peated whiskey through the filter but not the activated carbon just a standard charcoal filter and then um, yeah add those two back together so we have a nice balance of flavors thank you very much for watching and have a lack of day